This question is a draw question, and there's three pieces of the function we have to draw. The first and the third piece are horizontal lines. The first one's at uh, always a y value of 3. So here's a y value of 3. It's going to be a horizontal line. We have to pay attention. This is when x is less than or equal to negative 2. Because there's no lower bound on x, x could be all the way negative uh, values all the way to negative infinity. This is going to go off the graph on the left. So I have to click the third option, which has a starting point and a second point, but there's no end. This just goes off. We're starting at an x value of negative 2. So here's negative 2 x value. We're going up to 3 for a y value. I click once and twice. It's important that you don't use the second option because if you use this line, it's not going to go off the edge. It's going to stop wherever you click your second point. So that takes care of the first one. Now we're going to go for the second step here. Or sorry, the third step. This is if x is greater than 1. So we're going to start at 1. Again, we're using this line that goes forever in one direction. The y value is always 2. So I'm starting at x value of 1 and going all the way off to the right. It doesn't matter what x value I use here. I can use any of these x values. I'll just go ahead and use the one at 4. So that's my horizontal line at 2. Now we're going to do the middle part. This has a start and an end value, so now we're going to use this finite line that does not go forever in either direction. This is just a line segment. So this is a slope of negative 1, y-intercept of positive 1. So there's a y-intercept of positive 1 and a slope of negative 1. So I'm going to click once there on the y-intercept and once here, because our slope's negative 1, so it's right 1, down 1. Now, this is not correct. I need to adjust it. So I'm using a mouse here. And when I mouse over this point, the cursor changes, and it lets me drag. So what I'm going to do, I'm keeping the slope negative 1, and I'm just going to the left until I get to an x-coordinate of negative 2. So I stopped here at negative 2. Coincidence that it hit the graph right here. That was just lucky. Because these graphs are touching, these two pieces are touching here, I don't have to worry about the points. But on the right, they're not touching. So now I need to use the filled in and the hollow point. The filled in point is that y value when x equals 1. So when x equals 1, we are right here. Because when x is less than or equal to 1, that means x can equal 1. And we're on this diagonal line. So I put my filled in point on the diagonal line. The end point of the horizontal line, the y equals 2 line, that point is not included because it's only when x is greater than 1. So we're using the hollow point right there. And these are important to get full points on your graph. Uh, I don't think you need to do a filled in point up here. I'm not going to uh, put it in. You, can always, uh, you can't remove one thing, but you can always add another. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit and see what we get. And that is correct. Uh, this looks a little different than your homework interface, but it's the same. Still tells you my score, 1 out of 1. Uh, I do get infinite tries on this version. Uh, this is the teacher version, not the student version. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in a point here just so you see what happens. And then I'm going to hit Submit. And actually took points off, so I did not get full points. So it would not be correct to put this point in here. Unfortunately, you cannot remove anything. You can only remove everything. So there's no way to remove that point off the graph. Uh, oh no, I put it. <laughs> All right, I'm making this horrible. Don't do this. Uh, don't put extra clicks in here. So I'm just going to go clear. We had it correct. The end.